Hi, it's Kama Troy coming to you from Linden Camp near Linden, Tennessee, an RV park that I'm developing on 35 acres I purchased last year, 2021. It's been in the mid 90s here every day for the last week and a half that I've been here. It's predicted to be 100 for three days coming up here, you know, next week. So I decided to move inside here and and uh, you know record in the comfort of air conditioning. So two days ago on Friday, I went over to my neighbor's property, Lot 25, uh, Mike and Jen uh, Wenlin of RV Lifestyle. They asked me to go over there and check on their electrical work. They're out of town. They're putting in some underground RV um, for three RV sites over there. <clears throat> so I went over there on Friday and whipped out a video for them. I published it for them on YouTube and that link to that, that video is, is down below in the description if you want to check it out. Mike and Jen lo loved it. They indicated that their electrician was coming on Saturday the next day after I published the video and they asked me if I would go and, and you know make sure the electrician showed up and, and just check on the uh, progress to make sure that um, everything is going smoothly. Mike and Jen, from what I understand, are, are wanting to bring their new fifth wheel down here on site in a week or so. So it's critical that you know all the you know pieces, all the moving pieces, fall into place. So I said, "Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll check it out." So on Friday, I walked over there with Penelope, and today I'm like, "You know what? I'm going to try something a little different." So I decided to uh, fly over there literally so i went out and you know put my my drone out and launched it i decided i was going to fly my drone over to to check out their work so here you can see me uh taking off and one of the things that you know you'll be able to really tell from this drone video is mike and jen are my next door neighbors and you'll see that even though they're next door we have quite a bit of separation between the properties out here now you'll see um, the green area there, that's generally the property line. So I'm just crossing over our property lines that divide our properties and then I'm coming in to uh, Mike and Jen's property here. Now site three, is, as I call it, you'll, you'll see at the, at the bottom of the view there, you can't see much of it. Site two is in the middle there and then here's site one, which is the first site. And I call them site one, two, and three because that's the way that the electrician labeled the the panels now we're going to uh, come into view here on the uh, the main panel where the electrical service comes into and you know where the the meter base is and the distribution panel and their actual their electrical connections for site number one i'm guessing the electrician built the uh the backboard panel here and set the two poles in with the uh, treated lumber. That looks really nice. So here's the conduit coming up to the meter base. So there's the uh, pull rope that electric company will use to pull their service wire and connect up to those three lugs there you see on the left. The neutral is here and then the two hot lugs are here. And then out of the meter base at the bottom here over to the distribution panel. There's a 200 amp breaker in the top. Then there's a 100 amp breaker on the top left. Uh, I'm assuming for panel number three, which has a 50, a 30, and a 20. And then you have two 70s. 170 is going to go over here to uh, panel number one, which has a 50 and a 20 amp GFCI in it. Two underground ground stakes, one there, one over here. Now we're going to um, swivel over to the left here to look at the other two sites. Site number two and site number three. Site number two is in the middle there, and it kind of goes you know up and down the screen. So we're going to fly in a little bit closer to that. And we're going to show the uh, site number two electrical box, which actually has, um, you know, all the RV 
hookups that that you that you typically want. So let's uh, let's listen in on that. Then here we have panel two in the middle, which has a 50 amp, a 30 amp, and a 20 amp. Then from site two in the middle, we go over to site three, which is on the south side. Uh, this is connected to a 70 amp branch circuit. So here's what they're calling panel three. And it looks like you have a 50 amp and a 20 amp for um, a big rig RV here and an accessory for um, whatnot. So that's all the electrical work here. I'm just going to uh, fly the drone over here and just kind of show the whole enchilada there uh, from site three to site two, you know, back to site one where the um, meter base, main panel, and, and uh, first site are. These, of course, are all full, full hookup sites. We're going to go up the driveway here, and you'll see on the left where the trenching is. And this is where the power comes in from the road. And there's um, one of the questions that uh, I talked to Mike, and we're not really sure whether he's getting a pole transformer or a pad transformer. He seems to think that he's getting a pole transformer. I'm a little confused of what these two stubs are coming out of the ground. The one on the left goes down to the meter base. The one on the right continues up the driveway to go to the, uh, the main you know, electrical pole from the electric company. And... Um, you know, so where those two stubs are, it could be for a, a pad transformer, or maybe the length is just too long to pull the wires, so they, they'll put like a, a junction box in there just to, you know, do the, you know, the two runs of um, service wire. So not really sure exactly if it's going to be a pole transformer on this pole here, or a pad transformer back by where the, uh, or those two uh, three inch PVCs were coming out of the ground. I was a little bit nervous flying the drone over here. I uh, have already crashed it three times. I had to send it off for repairs once because uh, it fell 70 feet onto some chart. I was a little bit worried about running into uh, the power lines there. So I safely got out underneath them above the road. I went up high. There's a bird's eye view of uh, Mike and Jen, you know, RV Lifestyles site. And then there's uh, Linden Camp and again, that's, you know, that's kind of how, how close we are. But we're, you know, it's all relative. I mean, we're, we're close, we're neighbors right next to each other, but we still have, you know, a good, uh, I don't know, probably 200 yards between our, our properties or our cleared area. So if you found this video helpful, um, subscribe, like. If you have any questions about anything I presented here, comment, ask the questions, and I will see you in the next video.